A property survey contains an error that the architect does not discover, thereby causing the architect to design a building that extends beyond the property lines. Under the A201 general conditions, who is responsible for the cost of the corrective measures? Um, I certainly hope that it is D, the neighbor who, uh, into whose property the building extends. But that would be ridiculous, because um, that's just crazy. Uh, so it's definitely not D. So the question is, is it the contractor, is it the architect, is it the owner? Well, the answer here is, is absolutely the owner. Um, now, the owner may not be terribly happy about that, but here's the deal, and this is why it's an important thing to understand. Uh, when a project starts, the owner comes to you and says, I'm ready to do a project. Here's, here's what I want to do, i.e., here's my program. Uh, here's the survey, uh, i.e., here's the site. Uh, here's the geotechnical information. Again, here's the site. So what's the, what's the soil like? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and here's the environmental information. Again, what's the, what's the, the actual site like? Your job is then to pull together design intent. And to do all those other things, you're going to get civil engineers, you're going to get the uh, mechanical engineers, you're going to get structural engineers, you're going to be the architect, all that stuff that you're going to kind of roll forward with. Um, well, that's great. They have given you that information. If that information is wrong, that's what they gave you. It's therefore on the owner. Like, that can't be your responsibility because they gave you that information. The key here, though, is one of the things that happens all the time is that owners say, oh, you know, I don't know any surveyors. Why don't you call the surveyor for me? Which seems like you're just trying to get good service and be a nice guy. Well, that's absolutely the absolute wrong thing to do uh, because you're now taking that liability. And this, uh, the answer to this question uh, would actually be C if you had done that. You would be taking the liability on all of those issues. But it says it's according to the documents, something's wrong with the uh, survey. Who's going to end up paying for the, the damages there? Well, that's definitely going to be the owner. Unless you did, unless you pulled a survey, that it's you. But if you're doing it properly by the, the uh, contracts, then it's going to be the owner. Now, thank you, Mike. Uh, and thanks to all of you who have tuned in. And if you'd like to attend our next ARE live broadcast, visit blackspectacles.com slash podcast to register. Uh, you'll have a chance to ask questions and share your answers with Mike for live feedback during the broadcast, just like today. Um, and to learn more about our AIA ARE prep curriculum, go to blackspectacles.com. Uh, we'll uh, include, a note, uh, include a link in the show notes. Uh, and for those of you who are ready and, and want to go ahead and get busy preparing for the ARE, uh, you can use a coupon, uh, a 15% coupon off the first charge on any AIA ARE prep membership with code 527-1515-WEBINAR. That's 527-15-WEBINAR. Uh, and that'll expire on June 15th. Um, and of course, if you're already an AIA member, you can visit AIA.org slash ARE prep to get a 30% discount for the entire duration of your AIA ARE prep membership, not just the first charge. Um, and that also uh, expires on June 15th. Um, and finally, uh, please leave a comment below the video to let us know what you think um, and share any suggestions um, that you may have. I promise uh, we'll read every word that you write and use them to tune our next episodes. Uh, so thanks for watching.